This is Little Flurry with Candid Radio, and you are about to experience the, hopefully, the new GOS operating system. There it is. Isn't it pretty? We're going to do English. English helps. There we go. It's loading the Linux kernel. And it looks pretty, and it performs even prettier. It's very stable, unlike some other operating systems out there. I don't have one named after me, so I can't blame the one that I made. Hee <laughs> hee. Ha ha. This is a little flurry from CandidRadio.com. This is what it looks when you boot. I'm booting from a CD on an XP machine. This is a AMD 4800 plus um, dual core processor, 2. Point, I think 2.2 .2 gigahertz. Um, it's got a 250, um, 7500 RPM um, dry, hard, uh, Western Digital Drive. It has 4 gigs of RAM and has uh it's about three years old three years old yep. about three years old um has a cd burner dvd burner and then a just cd drive usb 2.0 um all that funky stuff i put another extra usb 2.0 card in because you never can have too many little ports for that so we're almost to the boot Killing some time with the boot. As that little, little, little green thingy goes back and forth, back and forth. But it it works really well. Very, 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 very happy with it using it the other day. I did put it on a um, USB thumb drive to boot onto my laptop because we tried the CD boot drive, CD boot, you know, to drive to boot it off the CD. It didn't work, but my laptop was also like a Pentium 2, Pentium 3, 2.0 megahertz. Um, yeah, it's really old. Like, I think it has maybe 2 gigs of RAM. It's got a new hard drive, like a 160. It's like a, you know, your standard 5400 5, RPM. Most people out there, well, I wouldn't say most people. <laughs> I shouldn't profile. But a lot of people out there don't know the difference between one or the other, but anyway. It should run on my laptop just fine, but it's not. So I'm make, making a USB boot drive, and I'm going to try that. But last time I tried to boot it, it didn't work. But I think I, I hit F10 to select where to boot, but I don't think I did it soon enough. I'm going to stop this for a second and do part two.